Well, hello, hello, and welcome back, everyone, to yet another episode of Chips and Talk. Grab a snack. Let's chat. This is episode 11, I believe. I think I got it right this time. But yes, I'm excited for this one because we have obviously crossed into the double digits with episode 10, but now we're like at 11, you know, so so we can officially call this a podcast. <laughs> you know, for some reason, before all this, I used to have trouble being consistent with things. And then once, I don't know, I sort of uploaded to YouTube a little bit more consistently, I was like, oh, no, this is definitely a thing. I can be, I can be consistent with things, but... Anyways, thank you so much for joining me in whatever way you're doing it, whether it's through uh, Spotify or Apple. Uh, I still have not uploaded to Google yet. I, I, I keep saying that I will, but I, I promise I will. Uh, I promise. Uh, but whether you're on Apple uh, Podcasts or Spotify, thank you so much. Leave a review if you are enjoying this podcast. And if you're enjoying this through video on my YouTube which probably, I think that's where most people enjoy this podcast. <laughs> Actually, bold of me to assume people enjoy this podcast. But anyways, if you're on YouTube, thank you so much. It means a lot. Please leave a like if you enjoy this uh, content. Subscribe to the channel as well if you are somehow not subscribed and you're on episode 11 of this podcast. <laughs> or you just run into this, which is always the best way to discover something, is just to fucking dive you know, right into it without any sort of introduction. But uh, I appreciate the support in whatever way possible. Comment down below, uh, leave a, a review, comment on iTunes or whatever the fuck. I, I, does that even exist, you know, anymore? I think it, I think it does. It, you know, it's funny, it does exist, but you have to like fucking get to it by a certain menu in Apple Music. Like you have to actually toggle it to see it, which is crazy. Um, I'm surprised they haven't torn that down yet. But anyways, yes. I go I go on tangents here and I, I, I definitely go on 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 B tracks on B roots if that makes any sense but yes chips and talk grab a snack let's chat I wonder what we do here uh, we literally grab a snack whatever thing you got okay go in your go to your fridge get whatever you you, you know go to your pantry get whatever uh, sometimes it's ice cream for me some most of the time it's chips. It's got to be chips, okay? It's got to be. But this time, it's going to be... Guess what? I'm, I'm going to let you guess. I'm going to give you five seconds. I'm just kidding. It's popcorn. Popcorn, everyone. Look at this. <laughs> it's exciting, isn't it? God, I, I always think about just how I'm recording into a, a camera by myself, staring at, yeah, a camera, a light is on me, and I just... I'm talking to myself, essentially, and I have a fucking bowl of popcorn, and I'm being like, hey, everyone, popcorn. You ever just think about that? I wonder if any content creator out, out there thinks of that, just how they're fucking recording videos by themselves at the end of the day. But anyways, there it is, popcorn. I'm, I gotta get the thumbnail right. I gotta... It's funny, is my camera, uh, for those of you who are not watching on video, it, it kind of like... If it starts focusing on, on on another object that's not my fucking face, it, it just goes dark on my face, so it kind of sucks, but. <laughs> it's just quiet. That's all you hear. Anyways, yeah, popcorn. Uh, this is sort of homemade popcorn. I mean, it's not like my dad made the kernels, but, uh, you know, he, he did prepare them. And it's not like he got them in a, he had them in a bag and, you know, he just put them in the microwave. Like, he has this fucking, like, bowl thing that he puts on, on like a stove and shit i think i don't know how this shit works i just eat it mm. oh, oh oh it's got the right amount of salt you know oh someone's getting murdered in my neighborhood mm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. popcorn is so annoyingly addictive like you feel like you're not getting full by it so you just keep eating it and eating it Till you realize you're like fuck, I have diabetes. Anyways, um, I wonder what snack you have. Let me know down in the comment section below. Hopefully it's not popcorn. Actually, you know what I really would like right now? Cheese popcorn. So if you got some cheese popcorn, caramel popcorn, caramel caramel, uh, you know, please tell me because goddamn, it's my favorite. And that like sort of um. Uh, 
sugar, not sugary, but it's got like a sweet taste to it. That's probably my favorite. Not gonna lie. At least tops the, um, oh, fuck. No, that's hard. God. Life is hard. Life is hard. Anyways, I gotta stop here. We gotta move on. So, yes, we, we, we get a snack, uh, and then we pick a random topic from the internet, because that's the most genius podcast idea ever, and this is not the first time I've said this. If you're listening for a long time, you're probably like, Jesus Christ, shut up with that. It's getting old. But, aren't we all? <laughs> so we go on the internet, pick a random topic, and we discuss. So, if at any point you have any opinion on what I'm saying, if I think I'm crazy, I mean, if you think I'm crazy, that is, let me know, please. You know, it's not like I don't know that I'm crazy. Hey, you think I'm crazy? All right, here it is. Generate random topic. Here we go. Were you the class clown or teacher's pet? Wow. You know, this is gr these are great topics to have when like you're, you're with multiple people. I think it makes it really interesting. But um, was I the class clown or a teacher's pet? I think I was. I hate to, to say it. I hate to be a an edgy, you know, individual here. I hate to fucking, you know, not want to pick a side, but I think I was both. Oh, yeah. Um, now, I guess it did depend on the teacher that I had, you know? Like, for example, in seventh grade, I had a history teacher. I was probably a little bit of a teacher's pet with that, with that teacher because... I felt really dumb, <laughs> like, and so I felt like, in a way, I didn't know that I was doing it this, doing this at the time, but I, I think I did it just unconsciously, and it was this thing where I felt very underqualified to be in that class, you know, and I was like, you know, maybe if I, you know, suck up a little bit, it'll be good, you know, um, and I, I did try to be a little class clown occasionally, but it never worked. I, I always embarrassed myself. I remember one time I asked the teacher, I was like, what does Grand Theft Auto mean? And then she was like, y y it's just, um, you just, it literally means what it means, stealing cars. Like, and I was like, oh. And she treated it like, and everyone, like there were some kids in the class who cringed. But I think, you know, maybe I'm mixing it up with asking one of my teachers, in fifth grade, what Resident Evil meant, you know, like the game, and um, I'm saying the game as if you guys don't know, if you don't know what Resident Evil is, you need to go live your life, go hike, <laughs> but, you know, I, uh, and you know, some kids cringed when I said that, and I think some kids cringed when I asked my seventh grade U.S. history, or Nevada history somewhat teacher in seventh grade what Grand Theft Auto was, or meant, uh, but I genuinely wanted to ask because I just didn't know. And the way she answered, I don't know, maybe it's kind of fucked up. <laughs> um, to her, she's probably like, well, I mean, it's easy to, when a kid asks you a question to just be like, you fucking little shit. Like, you know, how do you not know this? But God, I mean, come on. We all know that they're children, you know, so they don't know. But anyways, I mean, I, so I think I... I, I <laughs> I tried, but I just couldn't do it, and so I was just like, fuck it, I'll just suck up, you know? And overall, I think with teachers that, in classes that I sucked at, you know, like math specifically, I think I was kind of very uh, teacher's pet-ish, um, but I was just very nice to the teacher, and I would, like, talk to them, you know, like, and I would strike up conversations, I would, I would try. The only one I didn't sort of try with was with my geometry teacher. And and I think that was just because Andre Almadre I I think that was just because I really felt like I didn't know what the hell I was doing. And I her attitude was kind of like I feel like inside she was very disappointed in me. And it was this thing where I just felt really ashamed, you know, because I I, I she knew exactly the type of kid that I was. I just wasn't trying, clearly. But I also sucked. I was dumb and I really needed help. But I was just also just kind of going about it in a really crappy way, and it looked like I didn't care. And, you know, I could just see her, you know, being like, 
Yeah, it just fucking sucks. You're like this. It's fucking annoying, you know? But it was this thing where I'm, I'm not mad. I'm just disappointed. And I think that's what allowed me. That's the thing. Oh, shit. A fucking popcorn just... I broke popcorn, everyone. I, I'm not as weak as I thought, after all. But I guess that was the thing where... I really felt... I was like, oh, well, I can't suck up to this teacher, nor can I be a class clown. I just feel like a turd <laughs> in her class. But... Anyways, choir, I think I was a little bit of both, for sure. Um, I, I was definitely a teacher's pet, and I also made a lot of jokes, and I was uh, the butt of the jokes a lot of the time, in a good way, and in an, in an entertaining way, but I also, again, you know, made, made the class laugh, pretty much. But I, I definitely was um, very, 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 very nice to that teacher. Um, so, um, a lot of it had to do just with my, I felt kind of a, a little bit more important in that class than I did in, in other subjects, you know, so it makes sense because it was choir. Um, but, you know, I think class clowns, I, I usually uh, are very annoyed by class clowns um, because most of them have very low, uh, yeah, what is it, uh, self-esteem. And so they make it up by being overtly egotistical. Uh, and I say this because wink, wink, uh, uh, I say this from experience, um, but anyone who is a class clown, anyone who has extreme ego, sort of, 99% of the time, they have low self-esteem. It's just the truth, okay? And so whenever I see someone like that and, and they're just like completely shoving down their ego and their funniness and their engagementness and their extrovertedness down my throat, it, it makes me gag. Uh, and don't get me wrong, I do this as well, but I, this might be because I'm egotistical, but I, I, I think that I do it in appropriate times. Like, don't get me wrong, I've tried to be that guy, like 100%, I've tried, but most of the time, like, not, I would say 50% of the time I fail, and I think a lot of that has to do with the fact that I'm a little bit more aware, like, I'm an egotistical introvert, if that makes any sense, like... Fuck, I am fuck. what is wrong with me? I am fucking shit up over here. Like, I, look at me, I'm like the scrawniest guy you've ever seen. Like, and I'm here fucking breaking shit. <laughs> it's popcorn, but still. Give me some, give me some props here. Fucking moving my bowl. Fuck. Anyways. But I think I'm sort of an introverted, uh, egotistical person. So, like, I mean, I go back and forth, but obviously, like, I'm a fucking person, okay? Guess, guess what? You are too. But it's this thing where I, the more people there are, the more comfortable I get, I guess. And the more, it's not really comfortable, but the more like crazy I get and the more blah I get over the top. Um, and, but that's only like if I'm in like a fucking stadium, like I'll be a fucking super duper class clown. I'll try really hard in like a giant fucking stadium. But if it's like a party or whatnot, uh, I think I will, will, will try to be that class clown. I'll, I'll embarrass myself probably most of the time. But if we're like in a dinner and there's like, you know, a good amount of people there, I, I get really shy. I get really quiet, you know. And then also if there's another class clown in, in my presence, in my vicinity, I will usually like hold, I, I will hold back. I will reserve myself uh, and I will strike occasionally, but most of the time I will let them take over. Because I like to have them, uh, I like to see them make a fool of themselves. But anyways, no, no, no. I mean, it's really only entertaining for me, you know. But um, I, you know, it's that thing where, you know, another egotistical person is uh, intimidated by another egotistical person. Um, but, you know, but let's say there's, I'm surrounded by a lot of people who there's no one in there is a class clown. They're really introverted. Well, then I will step up to the plate gladly and I'll be like, yeah, like I'll take over. I'll be a class clown. I'll be extroverted. You know, I'll be, I'll be the funny guy. Like I'll, I'll do a little bit of crazy things here and there, um, in that small, really introverted group. Um, but if I'm just a bunch of, around a bunch of really extroverted people, I do not feel the need to be extroverted with them. Like I hate it. And I think that also ironically has to do with my ego. I'm like, if I can't be the center of attention, then I'm not going to try, you know, and like, and if I do notice that that person, like, I guess, I don't know, I, I had, that is that sensitivity uh, or vulnerable part of me. That is that lack self, that, that, that lack 
of self-esteem <laughs> in me where if I see someone else taking charge, getting the spotlight, I sort of just kind of like take a back seat. And that's a kind of a, you know, I'm not very assertive in that way. Um, you know, and so, and a lot of the times uh, I'm able, I, I do think I'm able to understand when I have to stop, when I can continue. I'm a, I'm a very good reader with, you know, uh, a lot of things. I mean, I don't know. I think everyone says this, you know, we're like, I can, I, I know like when to stop and I know like when, when I, someone's in a good mood and when someone wants to hear me talk and when someone's annoyed with me, like, you know, but I, I, I do think that I, um, I have a good sense of that. Um, and I, I know this because when I'm around some class clowns, when I'm around people who are centers of attention, I recognize spots where I'm like, uh, you probably should stop right here. And they don't, they continue, you know, like, and so I'm like, I know, like, and when I'm doing it, I fucking know. And sometimes I fuck up. And then afterwards, immediately, I'm just like, oh, fuck, I should have probably just not, you know, but some of these other people will fucking continue. You know, it's like it's a thing that just does not click in their head. And this happened a lot in classrooms and this happens a lot in parties and, and, and you know, in places that I go and hang out with people and stuff. So um, so this conversation turned a little bit more of uh, into extra introverted versus extroverted. But I think a lot of it has to do with that. You know, if you're usually if you're kind of like a teacher's pet, uh, you know, I'll, there's some people who are very introverted, very easy to assume that you can be introverted when you were a teacher's pet, but there's also the fucking wild card because class clowns sometimes can be teacher's pets, and that's because they're trying to have their cake and eat it too, um, and they're egotistical, and they think that the teacher will like them, and so they fucking just shove themselves down that teacher's throat. That's bad. That was bad, bad analogy. Um, bad metaphor. But anyways... Um, you know, I, I think you can be both. A lot of the times you're both. But, you know, I also do see how people can be like, okay, class clown, extroverted, teacher's pet, introverted, submissive, you know, class clown, dominant. Um, so a lot of that is definitely a thing. Um, but, you know, and it's probably this thing where a lot of fucking damn uh, extroverted people and egotistical people are like, well, yeah, like I'm a little bit of both. Like I know when to be like submissive and when to be like, and when to hold back and when to this. So maybe I'm just fucking full of shit, <laughs> but no, I mean, I don't know. You can talk to my girlfriend. She sort of agrees with me, but then again, she is biased towards me. So, and I'm biased towards her. So that's why I'm recommending you to talk to my girlfriend. So, <laughs> oh God. Oh, but I look, I, at the end of the day, I care about myself a little bit more than I care about other people. And that's a flaw. Um, but also ugh, I, I do sometimes tend to care too much about someone to the point where I don't put, you know, I don't put a stop. I'm not assertive enough. So like if someone's going on and on and on and on and on and on talking, and I feel like most people are like this, like they just let them talk and talk and talk because they feel bad. They don't want to stop them. But, you know, hey, what if sometimes, what if you need to really do something like go to the restroom or fucking you're going to be late? You don't, you know, you're, not, you're, you're like, fuck, like some people, you know, will give no fucks. They'll be like, look, dude, I'm sorry. I love you, but I got to go. Like for me, like I, it takes a lot of fucking courage for me to do that. Uh, and I just think, and, and I know that that part of me does come genuinely where I'm just like, I just, I just don't want to fuck. I just don't want to go through this shit. Like, I don't want to fucking have that person deal with me saying this to them. Uh, it, it's fucking terrible. It's just an inconvenience to them. Uh, and I just, it's, it's not a thing where I like, I don't want to deal with them being mad at me. It's like a thing where I, I just like, fuck, like, I just genuinely don't want to do this to them, you know? Uh, and it's just... I don't know. Uh, so, you know, I guess there's hum there's some hope in me, right? <laughs> there is some hope in me, but, and a lot of it does have to do with, you know, uh, I, I wouldn't do the things that I, I, I don't like doing things to other people that I hate when they do to me. In other words, I try to treat people just the way that I like to be treated. Golden rule, fucking, you know, everyone knows that shit. God, I sound like a fucking broken record. I sound like a fucking Hallmark movie. I sound like 
Um, I I sound like I sort of know what I'm talking about. I, I sound like an egotistical piece of shite. But also, I sound kind of nice. But, you know. Hey, look. If you're a teacher's pet, just do it. Have some balance. Balance is always needed in this world. You know? You don't want to go too much with the class clown shit because you'll annoy the shit out of a lot of classmates. Trust me. And then there's those classmates that enjoy you being in class clown, which I, I will say that there are plenty of, usually they're girls and it's fucking annoying because the guy who wishes he was a class clown <clears throat> is like fucking there being like, yeah, that joke wasn't even that funny. You know, like, ah, fuck, I thought about that earlier. You know, like, ah, you're fucking late to that, you know? Uh, and so, yeah, I'm jelly. I'm a little jelly. I'm a little tilted, you know, as they say in the gaming world. Um, so just be careful out there, you know? Class clowns. Have a little bit of a teacher's pets, teacher's pet. Have a little bit of a teacher's pet spirit in you. Trust me, it'll it'll, it'll get you very far. Or maybe not. I don't fucking know. Maybe be a class clown for the forever in your fucking life. See how far you get. You probably will get very far. Cause I don't know. Just look at fucking a lot of people in power and a lot of famous people. <laughs> but um, teacher's pets. Look, cool it down. Don't, don't be too much of a teacher's pet, because then you run the risk of other people making fun of you and shit. Which, you know, it's not your fault. Well, I don't know, is it? I mean, it's that thing where, like, you know, like, come on. Like, I guess you gotta, you gotta fucking play ball a little bit, right? You know, like, if you're a teacher's pet, like, all the time, and you're fucking making it known to the whole world, then, you know, expect some, some, a little bit of teasing here and there, you know? And, hey, if you're gonna fucking play that game, expect it, you know? But, um, also... You know, kids, don't make fun of the teacher's pet. <laughs> so, everyone just do their individual efforts to not be as annoying as you fucking could be. So, you just fucking, you know. But, you know, hey, if you really like the teacher, yeah, sure. Go give them an apple and shit. With worms. Go ahead. I give you my permission. But, I guess this was another therapy class for me. Um, shared some sort of interesting, uh, and really personal, um, things about myself. So, you know me a little bit better, but that was episode 11 of Chips and Talk. I'm going to stop it right here because the moment where I feel like I'm starting to ramble is when I'm like, Chris, stop it. Hold the brakes. Hold, hold the brakes. Is that what it is? See, learn from me. Pause. Take a pause. Take it back. Relax. Know when to stop. As I continue to speak, know when to stop. Okay? Okay. Anyways, hope you like that ASMR popcorn action. But thank you so much for tuning in for this episode of Chips and Talk. Grab a snack. Let's chat. God, I feel like I'm going to choke at any moment. Um... <laughs> That's what she said. Um, but thank you so much again. Uh, again, uh, again, again, again. Leave a comment. Uh, subscribe to the channel. Leave a review. Love me because I love you. But that's it for me. Fucking God. <laughs> I wanted to scream so bad, but it's not worth it. It's not worth it. Take a deep breath. Take a deep breath. Be conservative. Be reserved. Oh, yeah. Uh, but anyways, that's it for me. Please tune in to the next episode. Uh, you guys take care. Stay safe. And until next time, I love you.